Good. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back and Happy New Year. Welcome to Operational Innovations. I'm Alicia. And today we're here to focus on, well, my channel focuses on, look at me, I've forgotten what my channel does. It's been a minute, so I'm glad to be back. Uh, my channel focuses on process tips, techs, techniques, and strategies that help you level up in the area of project management, product ownership, and small business operations. And so today's topic, we are going we're going back to our small business health check series. We uh, recorded this uh, in 20, what year is this? 2021. We recorded this in 2020 and, and got through the whole series and had a bunch of great interviews. And I'm super glad to be back. I might look a little different from the last videos. I cut all my hair off. <laughs> so it is a new year and new us for uh, the Small Business Health Check. We're going to keep going with this series. We've got a few other things we're going to talk about too in 2021. But for right now, we're going to focus on the number nine tip, give something away. So in addition to my video on this, you'll see the perspectives of other people that I've interviewed and I'll share those links down in the bottom. I really want you to see those. And so today I'm super excited to get another perspective. You know, we finished up the series, we continue to interview folks and we'll continue to make this happen. So today we're interviewing Brandon Rains. I am so glad to have you with us. Uh, Brandon and I met in an ORSC class. ORSC is Organization Relationship and Systems Coaching. We met, we hit it off and realized that we had things in common and I got a chance to meet his wife or his wife now, but it was his fiance at the time. And, uh, and so we've just stayed in community. And so I'm so glad to have you here, Brandon. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been it's been a great relationship. I'm so happy and, and grateful to have gotten to know you um, over this past what year or two. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, I like the new look. It's good. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was it was quite the thing. But you know, it's it's more practical for how uh, my wife and I are living. You know, you can't take protracted extended long showers in an RV and <laughs> And so I'm like, this hair is going to be too much. Yeah. Well, I, love, I love those shifts that y'all are making because that's a great way to live. I'm so jealous. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, let's jump on in. We are here to talk about uh, giving something away, but let's hear uh, first a little bit about your business, Brandon. So tell us, what business are you in? So I primarily I do agile consulting, coaching, uh, and it's over the years, it's been shifting as well to, to also include organizational and systems coaching, uh, leadership coaching. Uh, I think a lot of us uh, agile coaches or consultants, we, we start off with uh, being hired to be agile consultants or coaches, and we quickly figure out that it's more than just agile, which agile talks about all the time. Yeah. And so it morphs and shifts into what the organization needs to be more agile. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I've been focusing on for the past, uh, gosh, more than a decade now. Yeah. Yeah. And so you've been in it long uh, for for longer than a decade. How long have you been doing this as a as a consultant on your own? This is year six. Yeah. Wow. When did you start yeah. in 2015? Because I started at the same time in 2015, in July of 2015. Mine was December, so we we just had a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday! Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, wow. You know, I um in 2015, I was working with a a healthcare small healthcare organization, and they just kind of shut all the projects down and let everybody go. And I'm like, time to launch. So yeah, it was July of 2015. Boy, time flies when you're having fun, right? I know it's funny. Our our origin stories are very similar. Um, it was a very similar thing. I was with another small organization that one of my mentors um, had, and I was the CEO of that company. And you know, at some point, um, it was it was a shift in one of our clients, and I wanted to really focus on coaching. And so I decided, you know, this this is the time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, let's talk about this topic of give something away. You know, when I presented all ten of the topics, you jumped right on this one. And so I am really curious. You know, what comes up? for you around this topic of give something away as it relates to your small business and the work that you do? 
I think what comes up for me big time is that when I look back um, over my career and over my life, I've been incredibly fortunate to have been helped by so many people um, personally and professionally. And I'm, I'm always um, thinking about those people and those opportunities that were given to me because uh, I wouldn't be where I am right now without them. Um, and so I, I think to myself, and oftentimes I've had family members say, you know, you've been given a lot, don't forget to give back. Uh, and so it's been, that's been a part of my life. I know I can always do better, but it's something that's ever present in my mind. Um, it's ever present in my actions. Um, and so uh, when there's an opportunity to give back, I try, I try as, as hard as possible. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you know, this, this, there's such power in, in, in giving something away. I feel like this channel, this, this knowledge that we're sharing right now is giving something away. And, mm -hmm. and that, you know, that matters. You know, who, who knows who could pick up a tip, who could be inspired, you know, that's great. So what are some examples of the kinds of things that you've given away over the course of your work and your uh, career? You know, I'll start with this. Uh, a good friend of mine says that, you know, one of the most valuable things that, that you have as a person is your time. And so um, time is what I try to give away as much as possible. Uh, yeah. And, you know, it, that, that'll, it, that branches off into a lot of different areas, uh, more, mm -hmm. more concretely and specifically. It can be just as, as, you know, sometimes maybe to me or maybe not to others is, answering a question, being available to people, you know, me being, me saying, listen, when you have a question or you get stuck, here's my number, text mm -hmm. me, call me, email me, mm -hmm. just put it in my face so I can, I can help. Yeah. And so that it's, it's also been consulting. Um, I try to give away consulting time and hours uh, when, when it, when, when the opportunity provides itself and sometimes being even proactive yeah. and over the past year, uh, with um, a lot of the racial injustice um, issues. Well, they, they've been there forever. Um, yeah. Certainly more present for us, it seems, um, lately. Yep. I've been wanting to do that. And so offering up uh, my time to big organizations with, with that has been something um, I've been wanting to, to do and, and to some extent a little successful. Uh, last year, I started up a mentoring group for... Hmm um for folks who for for black folks um people of color in That's in the right. agile community because uh, yeah. i i learned that wow there were a lot of folks who were saying i just really need a mentor yeah yeah i think i saw that and you know i want to connect with you on that one because i, I what i was watching i think you might have liked this i posted it on facebook it was a show uh uh, on TV, and it was talking about the history of, you know, of African Americans through the Black Wall Street, and I mean, going all the way back to Madam C.J. Walker, just kind of talking about the history of resilience mm -hmm. in the African American community. And one of the things that got brought up was um, mentoring, and it just resonated with me that I didn't really have a structure. I do a lot of informal mentoring, a, a lot of it, <laughs> but I would love to be a part of of what you have going on there. Um, because there's just not a lot of us. There's just not a lot of us in this space. And 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 how do we build the 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 story around diversity and inclusion if we don't, you know, support those who are coming along that have interest in this work? I could talk about this forever. So <laughs> let me stay focused. <laughs> well, I will tell you, we'd we'd love to have you. Um, as, yeah. as a matter of fact, the group met just yesterday and to kick off our new year, um, yeah. the meeting focused around what can we give to each other. Yeah. And so we talked about goals um, that we wanted. And the, que the, the question was, well, what can the group help you with in those goals? Yeah, yeah, so powerful. And, and I feel like, you know, I feel like it is such an achievement to have gotten through 2020 as a small business operator <laughs> and still be functioning. I yeah. am like, I, I am doing the happy dance about that. So if I can help anybody, because to me, this is about resilience, right? I, this year I started off my, my word is resilience. My theme is momentum and my mantra is dare greatly for 2021. And so I feel like after coming out of the ashes of 2020, 
um, I just feel stronger. And so I feel like there is a, an opportunity definitely to, to give something away. And so what tips would you give to a small business operator, you know, about giving something away? So I think one is find something you care about. Start there, right? If there's something you, <laughs> that, that's the big, for me, I think that's the big thing is finding something that you care about because once you do that, then a lot of doors open up and a lot of things will become very apparent to you about where you want, where you want to uh, spend your time, your money, um, any of the resources that you want to put toward it and you'll feel good about it. You'll want to do it. <laughs> you know, do it. you'll conspire the universe will conspire with you in order to make yeah. that happen. Yeah. Yeah, that is so true. That that's a that's a really great point to find something you care about because then you could be you can you can have the passion for it. You'll you'll be joyous about participating in it. Yeah, this the whole thing with mentoring is really coming up for me and uh, when when 20 when uh, the covid situation first hit, I was giving away complimentary uh, designing a team alliance for people so that they could try to navigate this new way forward. I was doing uh, complimentary coaching services. So all of that is good. And finding something you care about is such a great tip. So this has been great. Uh, anything else that you can think of on this topic of giving something away before we wrap up? Well, uh, I'm sure other people feel this way, but I certainly do is that, you know, for me, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't just feel like giving. It feels like this is this commute, this, this flow um, that yeah. happens out where, yes, I may have given some time, but I'm getting something too. You know, oh. I'm, I'm giving myself the gift as well. So um, I think look at it, it, that's an interesting way to, to view it. Yeah, yeah. That is such a great point. Um, you know, in the giving, there is, there is something that you receive from that and, 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 and not that it's about what you're looking to receive. It's just there is a gift in that. Mm -hmm. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So where can people find you, Brandon? Uh, probably the best place to find me is LinkedIn, like everybody else in the world, right? Brandon Reigns. <laughs> if you look, if you search that, um, you'll you'll yeah. find me there. Um, okay. Certainly my website, uh, yeah. it's it's there. It exists. So shakunanadvisors.com. Yeah. Uh, you can find me yeah. there. So yeah. Yeah. What is the name of that? What is shakunin? What does that mean? So uh, shakunin is a Japanese term. Uh, and it, uh -huh. it, the spirit of it is someone who's good at their craft and ever trying to be better at it. Uh, huh. Yeah, I learned it from, I love food. So one of the, <laughs> one of my- Me too, and I love is, Japanese food. <laughs> right? <laughs> How could you go wrong there? You're not. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah. There's a documentary, I think it's still on Netflix, called Hero Dreams of Sushi. And um, <laughs> he's this guy, he's an 85 year old man. He's, I'm sure he's a little bit older now. I think, I'm pretty sure he's yeah. still alive. But yeah, yeah, he has a three Michelin star restaurant. I think, I, I think I've heard of this guy. Yes, yes. I think yes. I've heard of this guy. I'm pretty sure you have, because I know we love food. So yeah, you, you've yes, heard of him. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he talked about this. You know, I lived in Japan for three years. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, he does. Yeah, 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 I lived in, uh, so my father was Air Force and uh, we lived in, my brother was born in Japan. And so oh, I have wow. such a fondness for Japanese culture, love Japanese food. Yeah, I was eating with chopsticks at like th two years, three years old. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, what an yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I love, we, there's a place in San Diego. If we ever find ourselves in San Diego at the same time, talk about this 10 seat restaurant. There is this phenomenal sushi place <laughs> that Flechette and I went to, God, I can't even remember. It must've been over a year ago, clearly because of COVID, but woo, we went there and it was, what an experience. It feels like you're sitting in a little place, you know, downtown Tokyo. So yeah, we'll yeah. have to definitely do that. If we find ourselves in San Diego at the same time, I'll let you know, cause we're going to go through there uh, in the winter time. So yeah, yeah, Got next year, up. next winter. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying to get back to California. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, awesome. So thank you so much for sharing your insights. Uh, that's it, folks. Uh, great insights about, yes, great insights about giving something away. 
from uh, Brandon, who's been at this for a few years and is on his own in several years uh, um, as an agile coach and an organizational coach. You know, folks, what resonates for you on this? What tips do you have that you can share about giving something away? Share your input and your insights, uh, your tools and your tips about giving something away. Share that down in the comments. Uh, we're all in this together, right? As entrepreneurs and people trying to build businesses, we can all use the help that we can get and we can learn from each other. So thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for all of the things that are coming in 2021. We'll have more on the Small Business Health Check. I'm gonna get into some of the work with the, uh, uh, the project management process stuff as well. So if you like this video, I, I invite you to like, invite you to subscribe, hit that notify button. And any engagement that you can do makes a huge difference for me and my channel. It really helps me out. Anything like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, it helps. And so again, Brandon, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. Yes. And I'll see you next time, folks. See you next time on the channel.